to the Sunday edition of the show. Sorry for the uh, delay. Uh, we just had some wacky audio issues, but I think it's fixed now. It looks like everything seems to be going okay. What is going on, everybody? How are you? It's good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome. The stream is not over. It just started. So I'm so sorry that it took as long as it essentially did. Uh, it just, uh, it was a little whack. Um, but we got it up. We're going. Today, I'm actually very excited about today's build because it's the first, like, it's the first basically take, like, epic. Like, you know what I mean? Like, epic in terms of, like, Lee and Lee 0 and 1, that sort of thing, and really kind of stretching the capabilities of the new IQ link system. Now, this is a commission build, um, so it's it's not a build that is uh, basically uh, we're tearing down. This was a build that uh, is commissioned by an individual that we're, we're building today. Um, there's some fingerprints on the inside because we've actually kind of already messed with the case a little bit. Um, but it should be a really good build. Let's talk about what we're putting inside of it. And then the other thing, too, is huge shout out to our sponsor today, Storyblocks. Uh, they've been a sponsor for the last couple of months. It's a big, it's the last one. Hopefully we'll have them again. But we're going to give them a big send off because uh, this is the last stream from them. Joshua Jocko, thanks for keeping my love of PCs alive and well. You are very welcome. So uh, let's take a look here at the parts for today. I'm actually really excited about these. So here's the parts list for today's build. We got the Ryzen 9 7900X3D Syce One. Thank you for the sub. Uh, the MSI X670E Tomahawk Wi-Fi. We got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 Founders Edition, the Patriot Viper VP4300. Uh, we've got a one terabyte and two terabyte NVMe SSD. Uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR5, 32 gigs at 6,000 megahertz. The NZXT H9 Elite, Corsair IQ Link H150i, 360 millimeter AIO. And then we've got the Corsair Shift Series RM850X. So it's a very, very powerful build. It should be a good build. Uh, and at the same time, once we get done with it, We'll of course bench it, make sure that it tests well, check the thermals and all that kind of jazz. And at the same time, you guys are gonna see how IQ actually works with a big build um, like this. Now, I believe we're gonna end up using two hubs in this case, but cable management should be way easier and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, good evening, I love the H9 Elite case. Can't wait to see it kitted out with the IQ link. Saves me having to do see what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it should be awesome. And I've already got the fans and color set, so we'll see how it goes. Everybody, Pastor Dame, uh, actually a the uh, Roby Tech writer here in the chat, so a uh, member of the Roby Tech staff uh, and actually one of our uh, our people. So anyway, guys, are you guys ready for us to jump in and start taking a look? Who's excited? Uh, let's talk about giveaways because that's always the big thing. First and foremost, this build, I'm going to get the case out of the way. This build back here, this one that's sitting back here, uh, is going to be up for grabs. So uh, this one is the month of July and August. Guys, I've been completely wrong. This is a Ryzen 7 7800XT 3D 4070 Ti system. It is $2,800, almost a $3,000 build. This is the sub only giveaway for the month of June and July. It is your last chance to get in on this. If you wanna get in, subbing is worth it. Don't forget that gets you extra entries towards winning this PC that we'll be announcing sometime next week. Um, and then the other thing too is that it also, oh, it's we're doing the Spider-Man PC giveaway because I keep pointing this one, people got confused and because I don't have the Spider-Man in the lab, we're gonna do that one for uh, September, October. So this is it, $2,800. This is the one that's up for grabs. Uh, if you are a sub, you are entered to win. Now, if you are if you are a, a gifted sub or an Amazon Prime sub, you get one entry. If you subscribe to tier one, you get three entries. If you subscribe to tier two, you get five. If you subscribe to tier three, you get 10. And every gifted sub you give gives you an additional entry. So if you wanna win this PC, now is your chance to get into it. On top of that, we'll have giveaways that are gonna happen during the show as well. So first and foremost, we get 50 subs, we give away a $50 new A gift card. If we get a level five hype train, give away a $25 new A gift card. If we get 25 subs over at, uh, over on Kick, we give away a $25 new A gift card. And if, you know what, honestly guys, if things go well, I have lots of other things to actually give away. Like for instance, maybe if we get a lot of subs today, we'll give away a 7800X3D just because I love you guys, right? So uh, uh, AMD gave me a lot of them and this is an AMD build. So we'll basically, uh, if you guys wanna unlock some giveaways, keep those subs coming. Uh, and you know what? You might just end up seeing a 7800X3D giveaway right here on the channel. Uh, the sub PC is not being given away today. The sub PC will be announced uh, in uh, sometime next week. Uh, we do have another sub. We have another PC giveaway coming up next week though. Uh, sorry, we have another PC sub giveaway coming up this week. We're giving away an MSI system. So stay tuned because we have another PC giveaway coming up here. Very good. So 
God tier greatness, thank you for the sub. Gucci Honey Buns, thank you for the sub. XXXBCXXXX, wow, that's a lot of X's. Thank you for the sub. Sai Swan, thank you for the sub. Stay X, thank you for the sub. Um, Stacks, I think this is your build. This is your build, yeah, this is your build. This is the uh, one that you wanted. You're gonna pick it up today, yeah. I mean, uh, sometime this week, sorry. It's gotta go through testing and stuff, but yes, this is your build. Best TV in your opinion for gaming, uh, the, the uh, LG uh, C, what is it, Tom, what's the name of the LG? things uh lg c gosh darn it i just forgot uh it's the one i have hype train guys one person 100 points and we'll get we'll get that going where is lg c no not that well the c2 is good yeah yeah the lg c2 is a great one any one of the lg oleds they're they're mid-range to high-end ones are fantastic for gaming guys 40 seconds let's get the hype train going we can do it uh, there it goes, BMOC dropping a gifted subs, and we are officially in hype train. Riddick dropping 10 gifted subs, so now it's already on its way. NF Smug dropping a gifted sub as well. Guys, you guys want me to give away a 7800X3D? Get in there, and also, let's try and get that. Let's get some 50, some 100 subs. Let's keep it going and give away a bunch of crap today, because it's gonna be fun. Community challenge, we're gonna be giving away a 7700X, I think is what it is, we just gotta get some more points. So yeah, it should be should be cool. Way you get those is by wagering on things and all that sort of stuff. And so you'll see those throughout the uh, throughout the whole uh, the whole show. Uh, we got Riddick at 68 today, Jedi Spidey at 28, and Igor at 25. Uh, Kazak 1025. Thank you for the sub. I mean the likes as well. So should be a good show. It's going to be a really good show. Uh, Stax is here in the chat watching us build his PC, um, which is going to be even cooler. Yeah, Attack of the Cases, we're actually getting through it pretty good. Okay, we're at level four. We need a level and a half, and then we unlock that $25 new gift card. So let's make it happen. Um, and then uh, we can, you know what I mean? And Riddick, thank you very much for giving out gift, all those gifted subs. Guys, free Amazon Prime, $2,800 PC. Come on, let's get it going. I wanna, I wanna give this away. I want a lot of people to go and get the chance. Plus the other thing too is that you, if you're subbed, you'll still be in for the September one too, because it's so close to the end of August. So. Um, just go in and do it. What's up, it's Jen, it's good to see you. Uh, again, talking about the build we're building today, here it is right now, Mystery0114, thank you very much for the gifted sub. We've got the Ryzen 9 7900X3D, the MSI X670, Tomahawk Wi-Fi, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080. Now he's putting his own GPU in there, so we're using my Founders Edition, because he's gonna be switching that out. Uh, we got three terabytes of storage, all Patriot Viper VP4300 card, uh, NVMe SSDs, Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM, DDR32 gigs at 6,000 megahertz, the NZXT H9 Elite, the Corsair IQ8 Link H150i, uh, 360 millimeter, and the Corsair Shift RM850X. So yeah, it's going to be a good build. But guys, we have three minutes and 22 seconds. Let's knock this out so I don't have to worry about it. And also, don't forget to head over to youtube.com slash robytechlive. Hit that thumbs up button so that way we can get that out of the way as well. So uh, remember, 250 likes equals a $25 new gift card. This is a $3,200 build pre-tax. So this is pre-tax, pre-commission, $3,200. Whoops. So I have a stretch. Wow, guys, I just started. Okay, I'll do a stretch. Thank you, I did arms today, so I appreciate the uh, appreciate the stretch stuff. Thank you, Riddick. Ugh. So it should be, it's gonna be a good build. It's gonna be a good build. That is including the 4080, yes. What's up, Roberto, how are you, man? Ooh, wow, that is really wide. Two minutes, 33 seconds. Come on, let's get to level five and get ready to in that out. We Guys, you already got us here. Somebody's just gotta drop some bits, somebody's just gotta drop some subs. I know you guys wanna win PCs, it's like $3. It's like a $3 raffle ticket and you're entered to win a PC. Come on. And we've had guys who've just done, and we've had a couple of people who just did Amazon Prime subs and ended up, walking out with a, ended up walking out with a PC. So you never know. Just saying. You are not alone. What's up, Evil Ash? Thank you for the uh, dinosaurs. Oh yeah, getting this out of the way. Feel like we can do it, guys. I feel like you guys can keep it going. Oh, Baba Ganoush! Yes! Love it when Baba Ganoush subs because I just like saying his name. Baba Ganoush! Come on, Baba Ganoush, thank you very much for the two gifted subs. There we go, God tier greatness, five gifted subs. 
And guys, we are now on our way to the last one. This is what we got to finish. This is the tier that has to get done. You guys have already gotten those far. Just get us through the cover. Hey, can you take the, uh, yeah, we'll do the prediction really quick. I just don't want it to interrupt the hype train. Sorry about that. That's my bad, uh, Blondie. Do, 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 do. Let's guy, the train is building up steam. We can cross that line. We can do it, guys. Once it's going, just don't forget, we only got three minutes. And God to your greatness, thank you very much for the subs, dude. Appreciate you. There we go. Oh, is, oh, you're not doing, oh, you do it. Okay, it's all good, Riddick, let it finish out. No, no, let it finish out, it's almost done, because I, I wanna make sure we keep the build progressing. I, as much as I love hype trains, I don't want to. I don't like sitting here for like 20 minutes while we wait for the giveaways for those things to kind of happen. So I apologize. I've just I try to keep the show going too. So we get we're gonna finish out. Okay, three minutes and 53 seconds. We are already 27% in, guys. And enter to win a PC. There we go. Riddick dropping five more gifted subs, getting you guys closer. Everybody thank Riddick, man. He's the goat. And we have 271 people here. Let's go, Kazak. That's right. I like it. I like it. Okay, so there we go. CPU's in. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get our M.2s in. Let's see it. Can we do it? Three minutes and twenty-seven seconds. Who's gonna finish this out so we can be done? It's like three subs, and then it'll be finished. And then, well, okay. Well, then, my God tier greatness goes. Hey, I got you. I got you, boo. Thank you very much, God tier. And we're officially done, guys. All right, so we now have a $25 new A gift card up to grabs. Uh, you guys are rock stars. And we'll leave it at that. We always have the stretch goal of level seven. If we get to level seven, we'll give away a two terabyte Patriot Viper NVMe drive. But that's, uh, I, I'm, I'm not pushing for it. It's up to you guys if you want it. You guys are pretty dang close. Thank you. Yeah, he's doing great. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate all the financial support. Goes towards making more giveaways. All like, for instance, the giveaway that we're getting, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna have going on here and uh, giving another PC away this week. And, and thanks to MSI and NVIDIA. There we go. Just gonna grab our thing. Oh, did we do it again? Oh, I said no. Oh, you know what? That was gonna fail anyway. You didn't, we should have never run that one. Did Guys, let's cancel that prediction. Is that prediction going? Because this VRM will never clear it. It's AMD. So I just realized that. We can't do that on AMD. Oh, I see it. Oh, okay. It says predict with channel points. Maybe I'm just getting weirdness. You're from the general, the Netherlands. It's Jens. Oh, nice. Welcome to the show. There is no one running. You're, well, I'm. What if I'm running? There, could, there is somebody in the world running right now. There's somebody running somewhere, guys. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running because it's healthy. I don't know, I have no idea why I'm running. Who's running? Is anybody running right now while watching me? Now guys, oh man, that would be brutal. Building a PC while also on a walking treadmill or whatever it was. Like while doing one of my Peloton classes, that would be interesting. I don't think that would be fun, but maybe it would be. Might be entertaining for you guys. Who knows? There we go. You look like David in the flesh. I don't I don't even know what that means. Uh, you know what, there might have been, oh, you know what, I probably didn't take the top one off, did I? I took the bottom one off, but I didn't take the top one off. Oh, nice, God. Yes, I did take it off. Well, that sounded weird. Thanks, God. 
Uh, that's awesome. Well, thanks for watching one of the builds live. Welcome to the show. Hopefully you enjoy it. Yes, uh, it was. I look like David from Michelangelo. Wow. That is, uh, I wonder what, I wonder what Leonardo da Vinci would think. He'd be like, why, why are you ruining my, my beautiful creation? Probably what he'd say. Guys, Hype Train's done good. One minute and 20 seconds left if we want to go for that other one. If you don't, all good. You guys are rock stars as it is. Don't forget, head over to youtube.com slash Tech Live, though. Let's get that uh, 250 likes, because that's free. Likes are free. Nobody has to do money. 250 and we're good. Uh, you mean like one, one in VME, ah, ah, ah. You mean like that kind of count? What's up, Cajun? How are you, man? Good to see you. Welcome everybody to the show. Good to see everybody today. I don't think, what the, I'm, I'm like on fire with not, okay, there we go. Now it's lined up, guys. I'm just, I was having a moment. Ugh. Okay, uh, let's do 90. Let's do 99, 99 for the Ram today. We're gonna throw it, we're gonna, there's some chance for some big money today. Big money if we can do 99. 99. Josh Gates' little brother. Seventy seven hundred XT. You mean the seventy-eight and seventy? You mean the seventy-eight and seventy-seven? Honestly, Org, I haven't watched any material on it yet because we have the cards coming. So, yeah, I, we have the cards coming. And I just like, basically it's like, I'm just gonna look at it when we get them. Um, so I don't have any opinion. I have heard from a couple folks uh, who think that the pricing for the 7800 XT is looking really solid uh, and that uh, they're happy with the price. The 7700 XT, not so much, um, but I haven't actually looked into it enough. Um, we have so much other stuff going on uh, that we just like, it's, it's one of those things, it's like when it comes up in the queue is kind of when we put Mindshare on it. What about you, Org? You got any thoughts? Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, it's not, we're not, oh, wow, still running. Could have made it cheap. Do you have any thoughts, Org? Who has thoughts on the 7700 and the 7800 XT? I'd like to, I'd like to get your guys' opinions. What do you guys think? Anybody have any thoughts? So yeah, you're waiting for reviews, which we're not gonna see until what, like nine days from now? 6,700K, yeah. I have no feelings. Okay, who, okay, how about this question? Here's a, here's a question for you. Who is excited for Starfield? 7,800 looks yummy. Okay, so there's some people who are some pretty excited about it, okay. Yeah, it happened, the whole thing, happened on the plane. The whole thing, I was on the plane, so. Me, I would be if it had Cofield. I cannot be excited. A lot of people, okay. So people are really excited about excited. Okay, are you more excited about Starfield or the 7800 XT? Well, guys, just so you guys know, Wednesday, uh, sorry, Thursday noon, we will be streaming it for four hours live here on the show. So tune in, uh, uh, I will, I'll tell you what I got from uh, Del Taco. Uh, Thursday noon, tune in, uh, we will have it then and we will be playing for four hours. So, uh, and then we're gonna be doing, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, we're gonna be building a PC for the head of Forza. Uh, so uh, this, this studio lead for Forza, Alan Hartman. So that's gonna be Thursday as well, yeah. Uh, and then Nisnu, I had the chicken, the chicken soft taco with the habanero. So I had two of those and some donut, the donut bites. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> food, wow. Okay, here we go. Three, 
two, one, 99, remember? 97.4, that was close. When I, can we get some big money? Big money, that's what we want today, 99. Come on, Corsair, I wanna, I wanna really get excited. Three, two, one. 98.2, dang, I thought I had it. Ah, oh, that was so good, but no 98, I mean, no 99. Ah, I thought we had that. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that was close, but it was not close enough, guys, not close enough. Okay, guys, time to put in our bracket. Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. And on that show, he builds PCs. A-I-A-I-O. With a dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, RGB, and Blondie Bikiki. Justin Roby has a show. A-I-A-I-O. Okay, guys, it's time to go ahead and put our little bit of our AIO in. So we're going to put that, uh, we're going to drop that in here real quick. This is the... Uh, IQ Link H150i RGB. So uh, we're, uh, hey, what's up? Well, welcome, uh, Richard. How are you, man? So we're, uh, we're gonna drop this in and just make sure our brackets are in. This is part of the IQ Link system. So I just need to get my brackets. Bracketos. But I'm looking for the, whoa, oh, it did it again. I will tell you that uh, some, okay, so Corsair, gotta have a conversation with Corsair. Your this is now the second H150i I've ordered, and the second one that has been busted, that all of the uh, that all of the uh, screws and stuff have been busted out, because the these bags don't seem to uh, stay together. So yeah, so we'll have to talk to Corsair about that because there's literally parts all down on the bottom here. How you doing? What's what's up? How are you, Simon? All right, here's our little bracket pieces. Well, I'm glad you're here, Richard. You welcome to the show. I'm glad to have you here too, sir. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this off. Oh, I probably, I, oh guys, I actually charged my wow stick. It wasn't, a, it wasn't charged before. Ugh. Okay, so let's get this off and prep for the uh, build here. What's up, Dewam Slayer? It's good to see you. There we go. There we go. Uh, Roberto, thank you for coming in and saying, I hope everybody's having a good time. Thank you for saying that. I hope that everybody is too. Just gonna get our bracket installed here real quick. This is a commission build, yep. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and use the standard thermal paste that's on the course because it's actually pretty good. What's up, Plastic Star? How are you? Thank you for coming and saying hi today. Oopsie. Keep getting those likes, guys. We're trying to get all those likes. Okay, so motherboard is ready and good to go. Let's go ahead and get our case taken care of. We want to get it all and get all our fans in and all that sort of stuff. Use our cables and all that jazz. So here it is, the NZXT. Let me uh, move the side camera over here. There we go. So we're gonna get it. Now it's time to kind of strip the case down, get the new fans in, all that sort of stuff. Make this look good, you know what I'm saying? Make it look good. Everybody wants a pretty build. There we go. Got a little bit of... What's up Wiz, how are you? 
Thank you for coming in and saying hi today, Wiz. Guys, this is gonna be a good looking build when it's all said and done. So I'm actually very excited to see how this turns out because I don't think anybody's done this yet. I don't think there's been a ton of IQ link builds and then this is kind of really stretching it in terms of capabilities and everything. So should be uh, should be pretty cool. So right now I'm just getting all the extra stuff out for it. There we go. Yeah, it is actually a really fun case. I do agree. Fun case to build it and it looks really good. Yeah, Wiz, we were just talking about that. I actually haven't, I mean, I know we have the GPUs on the way, and so we'll, we, are, we will definitely have builds and benchmarking right at the beginning of the, of the when they come out. So don't worry, we will uh, we'll, we'll do all that stuff week, the week we get them. It'll be right after PAX. Uh, is anybody uh, here going to PAX? So like, do we have any PAX attenders? They're gonna be joining us at PAX this year? I'm just curious because I will be there. We will be at the MSI booth if people want to come hang out. Thank you, PC guy. Oh, it's all good. Okay, well, Sabine, I, uh, Sabin, I will be at uh, I will be at the MSI booth. We're running a we're running a thing with uh, with Nvidia. So if you guys want to come check it out, come say hi. There we go. Just getting everything prepped here. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of all these fans. Nobody wants these fans in here anymore. It's time to get rid of the fans. We're gonna go all QX120 fans. So we're also gonna get rid of this. We don't need this either. So I'm gonna get rid of the hub. Essentially guys, I'm excited to see how, what this turns into, you know? Because all this stuff I don't need. Yeah, everything about like it's all, it's a, it is, you're right, it's all magnetic, the bracket's magnetic, like everything is magnetic on the, uh, on the, uh, on the Corsair things. Okay, so I'm trying to keep all these clumped up. But all these fans get to go away. There we go. Okay, that is out. Hub. Okay, we're just getting it all taken apart here. I mean, it's stuff that NZXT was like, oh, these nobody's gonna take apart all this stuff. Why would they do that? Well, if you're gonna replace all of them, I mean, it's, you know, we, we're, we're doing something that's abnormal, but it'll be interesting to see like how much, like essentially all the stuff we're essentially ripping out so we can do this correctly, you know, or with, uh, with less cables now. By the way, guys, saw the Gran Turismo movie. Uh, it's very good. Uh, it's both a very good movie and it's a very good video game movie. Really, really enjoyed it. I had very, like, there was nothing, like it was just really well done. So it was, it was super good, super good. So if you want to go see it, it's worth it's worth watching. 
We did that Gran Turismo build just, uh, it was just, what, a couple days ago, right? And then I was like, I've been itching to see it. And then my daughter, I took my whole family to see it. And then my daughter went back today because she liked it so much. So she made her friend go with her again today. So she thought it was awesome. She also happens to think that the main actor is cute, but you know, that's, I'm not gonna complain, you know. Okay guys, we're just getting all the fans and stuff out. Yeah, the build was great. Yeah, the build really was. The build ended up being a very fun build and honestly, Butters, Butters and I had a really, uh, had a really good time. Uh, I actually like the, I like the glass and honestly, the, you guys have seen the difference in the case. I mean, again, we're not gonna have any, we're not gonna have an airflow issue with this. We're not gonna have a cooling issue with the 7900 XT. So I'm okay with the, the aesthetics. This will be a prettier, it, the, the H9 Elite's a prettier case. And it still has that really cool airflow thing for the, the way that it does the airflow for the, um, for the uh, top panel is really good. So, but that's the thing about PC building, right? People can have their own opinions and have their, build their own ways, right? So, and that's okay. I'm okay with it. It's one of the things I enjoy, but yeah. I, I like the H9 Elite aesthetically more than I like the H9 Flow. And on a, with a 7900 X3D, it's not like cooling is gonna be an issue. The toilet fan. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny, right? That little fan that sits at the bottom. I'm glad, Casey. I'm really glad. I'm, it's good to see. Uh, yes, we've used the Uni fans a ton. Uh, Attack of the Cat, Attack of the Cast, a lot. So we've used the Uni fans like a bunch. The uh, NZ, the Corsair fans are like another level, though. Oh, nice, gaming obsessed. That's awesome. That's why we do it. What's up, G dude? Luckily, there's only like four fans to take out of this case. Okay. So when you look at what we've taken out, like here's what we have left of cables now. There's like four. We're gonna take this other cable out. So this is what we got. So these are all gone. That's six cables, seven cables, eight, nine cables, like all gone because of the IQ system. Put a splitter in here actually. Uh, yes, attack of the cash, you'll see why. And honestly, dude, L Connect 3 and their hub is just, it's just problematic software. So in, in my humble opinion, and that's just kind of my opinion. Yep. Some people, I just don't like the L Connect software um, at all. It, and the other thing too is like, I mean, honestly, Lee and Lee's been getting better, but it hasn't been like the greatest. <laughs> Cole Martin, I like that. Okay, got all our fans out. All right, here we go, guys. Time to get the other fans in. So first one of the QXs, we're gonna do intake. Oh wait, let's get this rear, let's get this side, this rear fan out. Let's get all the fans out, might as well. The only thing I do not like about the IQ stuff is just that there's other cables to consider and it's that's kind of annoying. Like you're like, oh, I need the, I need this cable and yeah, there's just some, the right angle cables and all that kind of stuff. It just makes it a little bit more complicated, but 
small price to play for all the other things, I think. I don't know, maybe not. Whoa. Save the wow stick. See that almost fell, but I saved it. Can we get save wow stick hype in the chat? Oh, whoa. All okay, right, get that out. This is that NZXT thing they love to do. They actually bend this top thing so much that it takes it really hard to get it out. Okay, got it. Okay, fan out, all of our bad fans out. There's 10 cables. Saved a while for another day, exactly. Okay, let's grab our QX fans, guys. QX 120 RGB fans. So they already come, pre-ready to go. We're gonna be doing intake. The good thing is, is that these fans look great in the back and in the front. So we're good either way. Okay. We're probably gonna want a little bit of a longer fan. I mean, a longer, oh shoot. Did that not far enough? Ooh. There we go. We're gonna want longer fans for this. Okay. That's not gonna be long. Well, maybe, because I could. No, that's not the long key. We'll need a longer one than that. Okay. Let's grab a longer cable. I like the boxing for this too. I wonder how few zip ties we'll have to use. We'll have to see. Okay, we got another cable here. Well, that's not very long either. Okay, these are short. So I might have to use the longer cables, okay? Okay. Let's grab our next stack here. So this key, this set, I'm actually, these are for, we're using these for rear fan. These are like my extra fans, so I can do rear fans and all that sort of stuff. Let's open this one up. Boom, 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 boom. 
Okay, top down here. Okay, here we go. Oh shoot, well that worked. Not the way I needed it to, okay. So this is gonna go like this, and these have peels. There we go, there's peels on this side too. Peel and peel. Okay. That's all the stuff for the hub. Okay, here's our hub that we need. And then we have our cable. Much better, much longer. Okay, so all you're doing, all we're hooking up right now is we're just hooking up the one connection. We may have to, we might have to use the smaller ones. Because these, I'm gonna, I think I might need, the, I might have to use the right angles. This is gonna have to go, I'm trying to think of like how I wanna do this because, oh, it's so strongly magnetic. It's like getting, it's like trying to get this in the middle. Whoa. I guess I can put them on the outside, right? I think that's what I want, right? Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Just realize what I wanna do. Sometimes it's just thinking through it real quick. All right, let's put this in. Where's my, there it is, okay. It works at it, it's working. The magnet on this is so strong, guys. It's such a strong magnet. There we go. Well, the one thing it does is it makes sure that the uh, make sure that the fans stay together no matter what. Knox, obviously, we've used this in multiple builds now, so. There we go. A couple more screws. And we'll want to daisy chain as much of this stuff together as possible. So we're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put the uh, these fans, the two the bigger two ones together, 
and they'll put the other ones together on their own hub. So. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. So this will go here. That's up. Let's see if we can get it to you. Will be too low here. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, let's go to side view. I have to do the top then. Trying to find the right way to run these. Trying to figure out the best way to get this in. There we go. Seems to work pretty well. There we go. Okay, one set of fans in. You will not see that cable at all. Cool. Let's go to side view here. We got one set of fans in. go. Pretty painless in terms of getting the fan in. Just a little bit of practicing with the routing there, but that's in. All right, so now I can put the actual bottom fans in. The cable looks really nice there, actually. So I can do their bottom fans, and they'll be intake as well. So they'll be intake as well for the GPU, and then I can literally just do the short cable I should be able to just do the short cable between the two. So, so I'm gonna grab that shorter one because that should go between the two. Should make it really easy. There's a little bit of planning here with some of this stuff, guys. Okay, so we're gonna put our bottom fans in now. And then that, we get the, 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 like again, when I, even with the Lee and Lees, when I do the Lee and Lees, it takes more time than this. So we only have, so we'll have two cables. We'll have this one. This is the only cable we'll have for six fans. And 
And then that one's gonna go into this, like just basically into this hub. And there's gonna be two connections for the hub, right? And then that's it. And the hub's magnetic, right? So it's actually very easy to plug both hubs in and then be good. So yeah, that's it. That's, that's three fans. We're gonna put the other three fans in and then we'll be good. Yes, it's easy, it's, it's infinitely, to say it's infinitely easier is an understatement. This is a very easy system to use. It's pricey, but it is easy to use. And it is easy, it's easier to interchange. Wait till you see the, I, the AIO. There's only, one ca there's only one cable for the whole AIO, nothing coming off the pump. So again, only for this fan, all I gotta do is do this. And I'm gonna grab my 90 here, one of my 90s. Grab one of these bad boys. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of these bad boys, and essentially, this one's gonna go right here, and then the other one is gonna go right down here. So it would be, if it was this way, it would be over here, so. Just make sure this goes this way. Just sitting up, will it plug in this way? Okay, cool. Same way. Oh, <laughs> I'm plugging on the wrong side, guys. There we go. Okay, there's that. And then this plugs into this, and then boom, we're done. There's another set of fans. That's all there is to it. And that sits just like that's it. Like, that's so crazy. That's the whole thing. Sorry, I just, I like. I know it's expensive, but man, it just makes, like you just now have wired two K, like you now have six cables wired. I mean, six fans wired and that's all it took. I feel like I got bamboozled. Okay, well, I don't know about that, but okay. Okay. There's that. No, oh, dang it, I knew that was gonna happen. Where's the, where is it brewing at? Where's the hurricane brewing at? There we go, see?
Okay guys, just again, here's a parts list for today's build. Ryzen 9 7900X 3D. We got the uh, MSI X670E Tomahawk Wi-Fi. We got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX FE Founders Edition. The Patriot Viper one terabyte and two terabyte NVMe drive. And we got, that's the VP4300. Uh, we have the uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR5, 32 gigs at 6,000 mega transfer. Uh, we got the NZXT H9 Elite. Uh, we got the uh, Corsair IQ Link H150i RGB 360 millimeter AIO. And then we also have the QX120E. So we have a total of 10 fans going into this build. Uh, and then we've got the Corsair Shift RM850X. So it's a very, very, and this is a, this is actually a commission build. So somebody, we're building this PC for somebody. Uh, I did want to remind people giveaways. So we are now in the last week before we're giving away this shift system back here, right? So this is a $2,800 build. That's gonna be a sub only build. So if you wanna get on that, all you gotta do is uh, use your free Amazon Prime sub, that's worth one sub. Uh, if you do your gifted sub, that's worth one. Uh, if you wanna basically subscribe it to your one, that gives you three entries. Subscribe it to your two, gets you five. Subscribe it to your three, gets you 10. And we're giving that away next week. Uh, and then every gifted entry also gets you an additional sub as well. Jez! What's up, buddy? How was uh, game? How was Gamescom? And then uh, also, just so you guys also know, up for grabs as well is uh, net, we have another PC giveaway uh, stream coming up uh, on Thursday. You're gonna want to tune in for that. Thank you very much, Jez, for the sub. Argent Moon, also thank you for this Prime sub. Uh, for, you are not ineligible. You just we give you hundred dollars towards shipping, and then you have to take care of customs and shipping. So we'll. We'll ship it to you, but you got to take care of the customs and the shipping. Where's Jez? Did he already leave? There we go, guys. Okay, another. That's in. I do, Wiz. I got the Chippy Escape key installed. It's right here. This is like the coolest. We did this whole. There it is right there, my Chippy Escape key. Right there, pretty awesome. Very, very excited about that. So yeah, I got that done. <clears throat> yeah, great, I, I'm very excited about that. We have another keyboard build coming up as well. So yeah, we got all sorts of keyboard builds. Okay guys, look, check it out. Just like that, that's all it took was the longest part of that was actually <laughs> using the screwdriver. But that built, like, that's it, that's, that's six fans, six fans hooked up. No other wires, there's one wire, one. One wire coming out of the back. This is the only wire for those six fans, is this right here, that's it. That's all that you need for those six fans. So, and now our fan's installed. The only thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna install our, our rear fan and get that going. And that we'll have one other one. This will be a seal, get a spare hub. So should one break, it's cool as well. Okay, there we go. I know, it'll, well, I mean, it might go fast. So, I mean, the faster means that we just spend more time, maybe we'll play a little bit of games, who knows? I just have to say, I, guys, there's still gonna be some cable management. I mean, it's just like, let's not be crazy. So this should be hidden by the AIO anyway. Okay, there's that. Thank you for that, mag no, those magnets are awesome. Okay, here we go. There we 
There we go. There we go. Two more. And that's it, guys. All the, all, like, we got all the fans installed just like that. That was pretty rad. Okay, so there's all our fans. That was probably the fastest we've ever done the fan installations. So, and we could still. I mean, hey, let me know if this helps you see a little bit better. I'm gonna try a side view thing here. Let me know if this helps you see anything. We're trying to, and one of the things you guys said is like having extra light. So, does that help you see that better? You see better up there? It's a little floodlight action. Uh, most expensive build I ever did was 35,000. We did that live on stream. You can still find that build, actually. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys. So that's that. That's all the. That's all of the the cables and all that sort of stuff out. You gonna. You guys can look it out. It's actually one of the. We actually have the stream of that actually live. If you guys want to see. Okay, let's see. Here's here's what cables. This is what cable management looks like so far. We haven't even put the the, the build in, but we have nine fans, nine fans installed, and this is what we have for cable management. No hub. No, it wasn't, it actually the, the GPU, it was storage. There was so much storage and we had a custom water-cooled capture card, um, which was like, it was crazy. It was a very expensive build. Dual, dual, uh, dual GPUs, they were Titans or something like that. I don't remember what specifically the, the things were, but yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty, it was a pretty ridiculous build. I wonder if what we do, guys, what if we put the hub, because you actually have these things, what if we did the hubs like right like this? It was just like here. And the power and stuff, but I mean, that would look pretty cool, right? So there's our fan only hub right there. Like doing it like that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I think that was it. It was a 30K, it was 30K. Sorry, maybe it was 30K. Is there enough room for the back to close? What are you talking about? Yeah, dude. It'll just sit like that. It'll look really good. And then you have all your hubs that are easy to get. Like, so if you need to replace a, need to replace a hub, you can just easily do that. So we'll put the AI one like down here and then you'll have all your hubs right there. And then all we'll need, the question is this may not work because this may not be long enough. This dream might have been crushed just by the length of this. Oh, never mind. this is a pretty long cable.
And then, yeah, that, then that would just. Hmm. That may not work. And there's your power cable. There we go. So there's your power cable for your thing. That might be too short, guys. It was looking so good. It was That was such a neat idea, because then you just have it up, but maybe we'll have to put it down, like right here or something like that. Well, let's get our, let's get our, uh, let's get our motherboard in. Now that we're, we're, I'm, I'm at tinkering mode already. Which is always a good place to be, let's be honest. Let's get some tinkering done. Who doesn't like to tinker? I do. G tickle, GS Tickle Stick. Thank you for the resub. Nine, 16 months. By the way, GS Tickle Stick, also a very good name. Gotta admit, GS Tickle Stick, great name. Well thought out, well thought out name. Guys, build already coming together so beautifully. And I am very excited about the AIO. It is very easy to put together. Okay, here we go. Why so many fans? Because a lot of you want a lot of air. Why not? Oh shoot. Well that's always fun when you drop the screw. I find that bad boy. I don't even know where that hit. We'll find it. We'll find it. Dang screw. The, by the way, these 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 fans are actually very quiet too. Something I actually really enjoy about these fans. For as many fans, well, we will see. I will be putting them in there. We're building another IQ Link system this week too on Thursday for Allen. We're doing like a 4000 D4090 system, um, which is gonna be pretty fun. He wanted something that doesn't take up a ton of room and is also very quiet. Uh, we have the winner of the Battle Station events actually. We can announce those. Blondie has that, we'll have the announce here at the end of the show. What did, what did I do? What did I do? Or did I, Blondie, is Blondie mad at me because I don't know the winner of the Battle Station event? She sent it over. I haven't seen any of them. Guys, there are 430 people here. And I see all the chats. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we have the winners, I do know that. All right, or are they still the same as last year's? Uh, they are increasing pump speed. But they're also improving efficiency between uh, the cold plate and the um, and the AIO as well. So there's more than just pump speed efficiencies. It's also just all in all cooling efficiencies. Okay, there we go. Okay, fans are in. I mean, motherboard is in. Now let's hook up our few motherboard cables. Hey guys, we need 100 more likes over at the YouTubes. Head on over, hit the thumbs up button. We're almost at, we're on our way to 500 people here already. 
which is crazy given that usually, guys, it seems like we're getting more popular. And I'd like to blame Blondie. If, if less of you can come and hang out with me, that'd be great. Just kidding. I love you guys, you're amazing. I'm just kidding. You guys are awesome. It is a Raxus. It is a mother. Uh, it is a beautiful board. Well, I mean, it is. But I mean, again, the more of these streams, and obviously, the more people come and find out and discover, and then hang out. So, we're. Uh, it's always a good thing. Okay. So now, guys, what we're going to do is hook up all of our front panel connectors, and then we just got to do AIO. And the AIO is actually really fast in this build, um, which is cool in more than one way. Oh, thanks, Red Eye. Okay, so I gotta figure out where to put all these, these things now. Apparently, uh, apparently he would like the PC to work. Like, what? How rude. Okay, so HD audio. I'm just gonna run them, because you guys, I like to show you guys where they connect. Okay, next up is There's, that's for our front panel, that's for our USB-C. Single front panel connection, guys. Got USB-C as well. I'm like disconnecting all this stuff because Okay, let's see, do we have enough room? Maybe. USB-C. All right, so. This is our first hub. And we have our second hub right here. So I gotta figure out where to hug it, put up, pick up our hubs. These are our Corsair hubs. All right, cool. There's all our connections. Let's go to top down. Oh, dang you. One of them fell, being a jerky jerk. Okay, there's one of our Corsair IQ hubs. Front panel connection. Right here. HD audio right here. USB 3. I love, I love, love, love. This ends up being so clean when you do it. This, ooh, 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 gosh, gosh, gosh. So clean we can do it that way. USB-C. Boom, okay. Very clean. There we go. There we go. I like clean. Now I just gotta get the one cable that decided to slip down here. See you. Ow! Stabbing me. Your computer is stabbing me. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's all of our front panel connectors, all of our cables. Uh. We are, yeah, we're just hooking up all of our front panel stuff. It looks really good. It looks nice and clean. Um, now we just have our AIO. AIAIO. And on this AIO, he installed it again. AIAIO. And then we're going to figure out where to put our pumps. Oh, I think. I'm mistaken. This just pops off, right? Yeah, there we go.
the H9 is a beautiful case. Uh, the price is linked down in the description below, but we can drop the price. Can somebody drop the H9 link in the chat? Okay, so there we go. AIO time. So it's got a little latch right here. And it pops out just like that. Let me just put this down. Okay. Hey, there's that screw I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, it's an expensive hype, but it's a showcase. It's definitely a showcase PC. That's what he wanted. He wanted a showcase looker of a PC. So that's what we're building him. The client gets what the client wants. Or does the client get what he thinks he wants? Aha! Okay. Let's grab our AIO. Guys, one more time. Justin Roby has a show. AIO. And on that show, he builds PCs. AIO. With the dad joke here and a zip tie there. RGB, RGB, and Bundy Bakiki. Justin Roby has a show. AIO. There we go, guys. Okay, just getting all the stuff out. Okay, so this is one of the problems I've noticed with this AIO is the stuff kind of comes out. Yeah, Figment, that was a beautiful build. Okay, what we're looking for here is Of course they are stacks. They're the QX120s. Look, see? There they are, the exact same fans. They're already installed, ready to go. There we go. A washer escaped here. And there it is. Okay. Well, wait till you see. This is the best thing about this AIO. Not only is the, the fans already pre-installed, but guys, there look, there is no cables, none. There are none on here as all. That's it, there's no cables. You just screw this in. Nothing to manage coming out of it, nothing. All the cables are right here.
And you can even have, it has another, a little hub there. So if you want to have another one, you can, but this just goes like this. And then there you go. Our, our fans are connected. And then this comes out of this and then connects to the fan hub. That's it. That's all there is to it. And the fan hub has one additional cable for your There you go. There you go. Your, your AIO is now set up. That's all there is to it. No, this is not an LCD screen. Okay, so this is an extra. This is all extra stuff. The extra hub. They don't have an LCD version of the IQ link out yet. Okay, so we put this like this. They're not needing any of this. Okay, let's get our radiator now. What's up, 928 Blake? How are you? Oh, uh, Sharky, you could, but the other thing too is that like, I might as well just have all of the fans controlled by one hub, and then I'll have the AIO controlled by its own. If it, the other thing too is you are limited by the amount of things you can connect to a single hub. So I, I have enough, I have every, I have the maximum amount connected to one hub with the six fans and the, uh, the six fans and the rear fan. But you could, I could actually totally daisy chain the rear fan into the, into this is very easily. Yeah, 14 devices, but remember the AIO is one of them. So I have six, seven. What are you talking about? O, X, O, L, X? What do you mean mid what? Why aren't you using in the middle? Using in the middle of what? You mean, you mean why is this not placed in the middle of the camera? So I don't, because I have it hanging off the table so it's easier, so it's laying flat. Yeah, these look really good, Skittle, and they're really easy to do. Fractal North's a good case. Because it doesn't matter, dude. They're flat. It's a it's a radiator. And I started with the ones in the corner on the bottom, so I just went up. Hey, thank you for the hundred bits. Exclusive shadow, thank you for the resub. Okay, there we go, guys. AIO is ready to get put in the case. I like that you ask questions though. That's a good thing. You should always ask questions. I'd rather you ask questions so that versus like wondering, you know what I mean? Definitely the better thing to do. So, sorry if I came off rude at all, but I like that you asked the questions.
No, QX are better performing than QL by a ton. The QX, the QX fans are significantly better than the QL fans. I think I might go here. Let's uh, actually go ahead. Really, before I do this, let's throw the cable extensions in. See you later, Skittle Skittle. Thank you for stopping in. We're going to go ahead and throw our PSUs in. Uh, we'll just get our corner extensions done before I get myself in trouble, which happens a lot. Yeah, Deepcool makes great AIOs for good prices. If you're looking, I mean, if you're okay with, I mean, it's just, again, there's very little ever, there's li very little to complain. Uh, I would spend a little bit of money on the uh, AK620. Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, not the AK620, the uh, LC, oh my gosh, what's it called? The, the one, what is the stupid name of their coolers real quick? I'm gonna look it up. I just forgot them all. Mm, products, cooling. The L, yes, I like, so the LT720, main reason I like the LT720, the LT720 is a little bit easier to install. Um, I, I wish they made an LT720 with RGB, um, with RGB fans. I understand it's more performance. Now they're so close in cost. But those little magnetic, the little magnets that they have to help you install the screws on the bracket are such a lifesaver. I really wish you just would have added that to the LS720 uh, versus like just, it seems like such an inexpensive bit. You know what I mean? And then we finally got the Assassin, their new air cooler. So we just, we finally got their Assassin 4. So we'll get a build of that done pretty quick. We actually are playing with the uh, Vitru, Vitru sent us parts. So we're gonna be doing a Vitru build here pretty soon. down. I'm just getting our cable cable managed here. No, we're not doing vertical mount. I, we did not, uh, again, you could. I mean, this case definitely supports it. I'll have to take a look at the new Be Quiet ones. Be Quiet, like there, we, we're, we need to, uh, we need to, uh, they needed an update. Okay guys, there we go. Okay, we got our AIO. Okay, let's see if this works.
looks like it's not fitting for some reason. It's not hitting that. I might scoot it over a little bit more one direction. Hold on. Feels like this is hitting something, but I don't know what it's, it feels like the thing is like, it's not, shouldn't be fine, shouldn't be a problem, hold on. This case, it, this has a little bit more overhang on the one side. Versus the other side, I wonder if I have to do the case, The I wonder if I'm gonna have to do this the other way. Like it won't, it won't fit this way. Uh, hold on, let me see if this, let me give it a little bit more. May, may, may not have let it push over far enough, hold on. Spinning it around is going to make it work the same way on the other side or not. Huh. Okay, let me try and spin it around. Okay, it does have a little bit more depth on one side versus the other, so I'm going to try it the other way. But I won't do all the screws this time. I'm just gonna put some in and see if it works. Sixty-five YouTube, sixty-five likes to go, guys. Let's see if we can get it done. This one, flip it around.
Yeah, it gives it more room for sure. So maybe it'll only go in one way. Just gonna try and fit it. It does work that way very easily, okay. There it is, okay. So you have to you have to go that way. Okay, so we're gonna finish setting this up. Putting all our screws back in. Luckily, the tooling on this is really easy. Uh, AMD flat out said that the, the IHS for this is just literally for looks. I will hydrate, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Appreciate it, Figment. All right, let's grab a drink. What's up, Beard? Uh, you can buy it too. The wow stick. Here we go. Oh. Drop it that way. See you later, Gaming Obsessed. Thank you for coming in and saying hi. Being a part of the stream today. There we go. Okay, I gotta do one thing, guys. Okay, we just gotta run this cable the right way.
I gotta get this one round cable up here. So we can get the about making this look good now. Oh no, that's supposed to come out. Okay, we're just making sure the cable, the build looks good. This is like a cable kit. There's a bunch of different fitting cables so I can do exactly what I need for the build, which in this case is, given we had to switch the direction here, just trying to hide it. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so let's take this. Now we have everything in the way it needs to be. Oh yeah. There we go. All right, cool. Now we have our build. Okay, let's clean up the top here a little bit. So you get that floating, floating uh, radiator look like you want. Okay. Okay, now put in our put on our AIO, which you guys are gonna see how simple this installation is now.
Okay, let's go to top down. So now what we do is we grab this. The only reason that took as long as it did was because of the So now there's no other cables for this. There's nothing else. All I got to do is just There's nothing that's there's no cables that go off of this. It just literally this is it. There we go. So there's gonna be no cables coming off of the top or anything. Yeah, and there's nothing else to hook up. There's one cable that's gonna go run down the back, but that's it. So if you need to replace the AIO, it's almost completely independent. Man, that's so easy. So easy. Just ridiculous. Mm. Okay, guys, that is that. The only thing I gotta do is take this one cable, which is my and it doesn't connect to the AI, it doesn't connect the AIO, it connects to the hub. This is gonna go right here on CPU fan. And it's gonna run down the back, that's it. That's the only cable. Okay, so now, we finish hooking up our stuff, cable manage, and then PSU and some couple, a couple cable extension, that's it. Things already back here, ready for it. And they give you so much for that one. Okay, so this one, now we just gotta figure out where we're gonna put this hub. Hub would have been good there, but the problem is, is that the USBs are not long enough. So this is the one to the AI, this is the one to the AIO. Okay. There's your AIO one. I think we just, I think what we do, I think we do this. Do you have any three and a half inch drive stacks that you're gonna do or can I actually get rid of this right here?
I'm glad you like it, bird dude. All right, cool. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this thing because that way it makes it a little easier for us to use the. Get more back area for the hubs. Hold on one sec, guys. Okay. Okay, first zip tie of the build actually, guys. I have a stretch request and a hydrate request. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, we'll get to that here in a second. Just trying to get magic going on here, guys. Let's get your stretch on. Thanks, Bernie. Okay, cool. There we go, and there we go. Just trying to get our little bit left here. Now, the cool thing is, is that this is for this right here, this little cable. This is so our AI, that's our AIO, so it can talk to the go. I like to hide this cable altogether. So you can't even see it. That's like the ideal scenario, right? Can't even see the cable. 
Everybody's like, who cares, Roby, just stretch. I'm like, dang. What'd you get fined for? Okay, let's put this one under maybe. Wouldn't be something I did, right? What would, what a find you guys? What a find you talking about? There's some, is there something I don't know about? Like, is there some sort of secret, like, Twitch convict avoid fine thing I don't know about here? Yeah, I have, I have a notch, but the notch is, like, semi-blocked. I should have, yeah, I'm doing a terrible job here with the, I did a terrible job with the setup of my uh, zip tie bag here. Feels like I'm doing, spending more time getting the zip ties out than I am actually doing the cable management right now. Somebody stole my scissors again, guys. And I'm paying the price for not having scissors. Okay, there we go. So he took my scissors. There we go, notch is out. Much easier now. go okay now let's get this these under control here I'm focused, guys. That's the thing, is I'm in focus mode. I'm enjoying this, like as we, we get to work through the last of the, the cable management issues here. Now this is a little bit of a nightmare, but we'll get this under control here in a second. I'm probably just gonna zip tie this stuff down. And then we can do this to get this in.
We can do all that and then literally just capture this right here. Okay. So my bigger cables here, just kind of zip, zip up this stuff. Because it looks nice, but I want it like clean. Come on. Okay, we're just making it look clean. And all we have left is one extension. We gotta figure out how to run this one cable for the PSU, but both of these, but outside of that, the rest of it's actually. There we go, guys. Okay, again, nice and clean. Everything up against the wall here. We got a couple little cables we got to deal with here. And again, these will be straightened. Okay, so we're just gonna zip tie these two things together because they're gonna just be powered off of a single splitter thing and then we're good. There's all of our connections ready to go. Clean up our little hub things here. And there you go, looks good. Kevin is apparently emailing about his who, Sabin? Right now he's emailing, who, what's going on?
Oh, okay. How it? Why, why did he tell you? Oh no, hold on. Oh, is that, oh, it was on my watch, okay. It showed up, oh, that's funny. I think I have everything ready. All I gotta do now is add one power extension, which is our, our big 24 pin. And then guys, we're actually ready to do GPU and all that stuff. But there it is. The build is very close to done. All we gotta do is GPU, PSU. You know, I just thought about this. This may not have been the best. Uh, I just realized I shouldn't have done, I don't know if I, doing the shift in this was a good idea. Yeah, it's a beautiful build. All we gotta do now, it's very, very close to done. Now guys, do not forget a couple things. How are we doing likes on YouTube? And we need 10 more subs to unlock the $50 new A gift card. Let's get that done and then Likes on YouTube should be done here real quick, right? There's 500 plus people here right now. Um, and then uh, guys, don't forget, I'm gonna let you guys know, this build right here, this $2,800 PC back here, it's a 7800 X3D 4070. That is the sub only giveaway for the month of, for the month of July and August. You still get, you only have one, hey, Sergeant Nobody, thank you for the sub. Uh, you only have, a uh, couple more days, end of August is all you get to basically get in on this. All you gotta do is you drop your free Amazon Prime sub that gets you one entry. Uh, if you uh, subscribe at tier one, that gets you three entries. Subscribe at tier two, you get five entries. Subscribe at tier three, you get 10 entries. Um, and the same thing goes for Kick and Discord as well. The other thing too is that every gifted sub gets you an additional entry towards winning that PC. And we are giving away another PC on Thursday. So if you wanna get extra entries, subs get extra entries on that giveaway as well. So it's now a good time to sub, get our, unlock our $50 new gift card and all that fun stuff too. So let's, let's keep it going and then let's get those likes done because that's free. Well, Amazon Prime subs are free too. Okay, I need one more Age Horse connection. Yes, that Corsair in the back is a 4080, 7800 X3D, 4070, and a 4000D. See you later, do the Drew. Yes, they're free if you have Amazon Prime, good job. Yes, that is correct, Tom. Let's go top down. There we go. There's a YouTube goal. Good job, guys. You hit that easily. Let's go side view.
go to side view. There we go. Try to make sure that that's nice and even. No twisting. Right angle, looks good. That needs to come down, there we go, there we go. Fans are in good shape. Guys, it's PSU time. I mean, GPU time. That's it. Uh, Stacks, we usually go for, a, we go for a while. Why do you ask, Stacks? Yes, it was my part choices, yes. Uh, Pyramid, we won't know until, we won't know until the game comes out, dude. Thank you very much for the uh, sub. Oh, you mean the testing? Yeah, dude, testing is, usually testing is a couple days, but we have another thing, so the testing for this will wrap up. Uh, probably, you'll be able to pick it up on Friday. Or w actually Wednesday might be, oh, actually Wednesday might be work, might work. We we go through a lot of testing. We found a, too many per, we found too many issues, right? So we're always very careful with that stuff. But you're picking up local, so you're that's easy. There we go. There it is, guys. Top down. Look at that. Okay, so now we're doing this build. Yes, Blitz and Blake. Yes, different tiers get higher. Higher entries for the sub only giveaway, not for regular giveaways. They all, every sub gets the same amount. Okay guys, just getting ready to put in our GPU. You're very welcome, Reluctant Hero. Thanks for coming in and tuning in, dude. This is Stax's PC, yes. You might say his PC is Staxed. Ha, 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 okay. Yeah, let's get some hype from Reluctant. That's amazing, dude. So we're putting a regular FE 4080 in here. Oh, let me show you the specs. Yeah, that's a good question. Here's the specs that we're using in this PC. We're using the Ryzen 9 7900X 3D. We've got the MSI X670E uh, Tomahawk Wi-Fi. we got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 FE. Uh, we've got the Patriot Viper VP4300, both a one terabyte and two terabyte NVMe SSD. We've got the Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR4, 32 gigs at 6,000 megahertz, NZXT H9 Elite. We've got the Corsair IQ Link H150i, RGB 360mm uh, AIO, and then the Corsair Shift Series RM850X. So those are all the parts in there. Um, and then that G-Dude, thank you very much for the sub. So here we go, guys, dropping our, dropping our GPU in here. This will not be the GPU that ultimately fits in here, but he has his own, so he'll shift it out. But that, that looks beautiful in there. Uh, no, giveaway today is a, uh, we got a 25, uh, what, two $25 New Age gift cards, and then hopefully in six subs, we'll have a $50 New Age gift card, so. What's up, a bear dude? So some good giveaways today. Okay, there we go. Build, that's what the build's gonna look like from the front. Now we're gonna grab one other component for him that we got. Then we have one more part, guys.
Guys, the fact that we did a 10 fan build, and I started almost 20 minutes late. The fact that we did a 10 fan build with cable management in just under two hours is very telling of the iLink system. Uh, last week was pretty crazy because we built one, one, we built one on Sunday, one on Tuesday, two on Thursday, one on Friday, and then we built one today. Yeah, so I mean, like, this has been a crazy week. So it was like six. This is the uh, Easy DIY 16 pin extension. So it's just, it's just to make sure the, bu the build looks uniform and clean. Ugh. Okay guys, all we have left is the shift. That's it, it's all we have left on this build. Yeah, that's a strong, that's a strong build week, even for me. <laughs> Thanks, Saki Bomb. PSU team guy, PSU team, PSU time guys. Oh, time for the smelly PSU. I'll tell you, man, Corsair, they're the smelliest, dude. Smelliest PSUs by far. Let's give it a let's give it a whiff. So we have a Starfield build that uh, we have a Starfield build that we are playing Starfield on on Wednesday, but it's not it's already built. So we did all because we did the QuakeCon thing. A lot of my Starfield builds are already done. I didn't do any other Starfield builds. I do not know why they're so smelly, but they are stinky. They are very stinky, and not like not like not like way more so than any other. By a lot. Or they smell war. I mean, like, I just, just, just really bad smelling. Okay, Molex, ew. Um, the funny thing is, is because of the special nature of the cables. You don't even need SATA. So you need one CSU, we don't need this. You need two of these. Actually, we can take one of these. There's our CPU. There's this. There's this, okay, that's it. CPU. There's our split PCIe. Yep. There's our power. That's it. That's all the cables we need. Now they actually go up, which you will not be able to see. Go top down. Do our peel here. There we go. Let's 
grab our PSU cables. Yeah, exactly, Zeiston. That's a very good point. Nobody's sad when you don't use SATA. Come on, let's get those last six subs, guys. Let's not end on not having 50. You're so close. And can we get one kick sub? I'd like to see five kick subs. Poor kick people. Oh man, I have not hydrated. You guys, I've been terrible. Okay, hydrating right now. Ugh. Ugh. To town, Scott, you, can, you don't have to do anything. It's just there. Okay, I hydrated twice and I stretched. I drank extra large amounts of water. Dang it, screw! Screw you, screw. Dang it, I dropped it again. Screw. Screw's trying to screw me. Ugh. Kick.com slash Robotech. There we go. All right, screws are in. Yeah, so much room for activities. All right, here we go. Four cables. The last of the build. That is it. Last thing I gotta do, guys. This is the end. It's the end of the build as we know it. It's the end of the build as we know it. And I feel fine. There we go. So this is to power everything on the hub. What is going on here? Why is this being so painful? That one didn't, that one's not painful. Okay, so it's just really this cable. Oh, never mind. Okay. Put that right there. And right there. Okay. Now let's grab our 16 pin. Okay. 
Okay, now we just gotta get it controlled here. I'm wondering if... There we go. First one. What we're working on right now, guys, is just getting cleanliness and awesomeness because we want this to look good. I may not be able to do it with this one. Okay, but I can do it with these two. There we go. This might be a little much for these little... I think that's a little much for these. Clears that. Now we just gotta clean it into this here. Trying to make this look clean. Almost done. Dad joke from Bernie. So here we go. Now, another Robitech dad joke phone out. There we go. We only got one more thing to put away. That very clearly picks up all this stuff. There we go. Pick that on the other side. Then we just gotta take this and this, oops. Okay, there's all that. All we have left is this cable, which our CPU, that's it.
There we go, guys. And there's our build. Just cover that up. There's that. All the cables look good. Okay, let's go to static. So we just got, what we'll do is we'll basically go through our two, our sponsor for today. And then, and again, last sponsorship from Storyblocks, which I appreciate their sponsor, their support this whole time. So thank you very much for sponsoring us for the last two months. This is the last of their sponsored streams. So uh, again, we're gonna give, give them a little shout out and love today. Um, and then uh, we'll turn it on. Uh, oh gosh, okay. There we go. Make sure it's all clean here at the top. We'll check all of our temperatures and all that sort of stuff too. Okay, that's that. And before we do, before we get too far, we'll go ahead and do our, uh, our zip tie count. I feel like there's There we go. We go guys build is done Yep, well, let's do our zip ties real quick and then we'll run through our story block stuff and then all that jazz and get right to it. Then we'll do our giveaways and all that stuff, guys. And don't forget, we need five more subs to unlock that 50. We're super close to unlocking that $50 new gift card. That build looks really good. That was a fun build, guys. That really was a very entertaining build to build. Whoa. Poor laptop. I need to replace this one. Okay. Good work. Then we'll do our. Stop dropping it. I wasn't dropping the laptop. Okay. Okay, let's do our top down and we'll go through our zip ties real quick. There's not a lot today, guys, not a lot. Okay, so we have one, two, 
three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's ten. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen. It's odd today, guys. Odd. Fifteen zip ties today. That was it. Small number. Fifteen, guys. Yeah, 15. Yeah, it's been a while since we've actually had odd. Ugh. Okay. So, just gonna bring up something real quick. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm just trying, there it is. Okay, so let's go to capture and then we'll do this. Let me make sure this fits here. All right, so uh, here's the deal. As somebody who makes as much content as we do, one of the things that we always need is stock footage. For instance, when you look at things like our parts list, um, which uh, parts list is a great example of things that we actually use something like storyblocks.com for. Basically, what storyblocks.com does is it provides you unlimited downloads of royalty-free professional content for one predictable subscription price. So in other words, you, what, used to example, what used to exist is that we used to have to go to locations, pay a per clip price in order to go and create a bunch of video assets and stuff like that. So you might buy like one song here or one 4K clip there or whatever it was. And what this does is this allows you to go to a single location, have unlimited downloads for an easy subscription price. And so one example might be, hey, for instance, I need to make a video about spiders. So I go in there and I'm like my Spider-Man video. So I go and look for spider web. So here you go, here's examples of stock footage of spiders. But even here, you can see there's some stuff like this where you can have a green screen with spiders crawling down. So maybe for a Halloween stream, or you wanna have something where uh, you wanna do like a spider web. So let's take a look here at spider web. So then you do a spider webs. And then you might have something where you have spider webs here. A great example, something we might use for like our Halloween uh, or for, uh, you know, if you did a, a Spider-Man build where you have like a spider that's on your screen, you know what I mean, and popping down, etc. So Storyblocks makes it really easy to make like themes, etc. One example is you go here, we go to stock media, here's stock footage. Uh, you can look here, here's stock footage, and then you can, oh, sorry, for instance, whoops. So stock media, here's animated backgrounds, go to technology, and then here, for instance, internet. So now if I was gonna make video, like tech videos, or I wanted to make stuff, here's some stock footage of things that might go really good over when we're talking about technology, et cetera, or like when we're doing builds, et cetera, right? So which makes it really nice. The other thing too is you hear the music that you're playing right now. That's something else you also get at storyblock.com is that you can go here and you can check out uh, music not just music, but also sound effects. So here's royalty free music, very similar to what here, here's electronic stuff. And you guys would be getting audio just very similar to what you're listening right here. You just hit play, it plays through the entire stuff and you now have royalty free music. The same thing also exists for After Effects templates and all that sort of stuff. It just makes it really, really easy, guys. If you're going to make and be a content creator, this is something that's going to allow you to elevate the overall quality of your streams and bring everything up 
to like the same level that with similar to what we're doing here. So we're checking out storyblocks.com. If you want to get started, head over to twitch.t. Uh, so you can just take storyblocks.com slash robytech, uh, which you can check the panel down below for Twitch, or you can basically just hit exclamation point storyblocks. That'll take you there as well. Um, but it's worth checking out. We use it for a lot of our videos. You've seen it in the Spider-Man video, the Lenovo video. A lot of our videos actually use this footage and this music for all of our stuff. So if you want to elevate your game as a content creator, then storyblocks.com is an essential part of making that happen. So anyway, guys, thank you very much to Storyblocks for being a, a large part and a longtime uh, sponsor. And we appreciate them giving us a chance to talk about that stuff as well. Igor, thank you for the stuff. Thank you very much for the subs. Urban Meds, thank you so much for your sub as well. Now, before we go to the next thing, I want to do dad joke. Dad jokes, a better way to go. My mom, my mom just found out I replaced her bed with a trampoline. She just hit the roof. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, I have a friend who really hates living in central United States. She says it's a constant state of Missouri. <laughs> I now, like that one too. Another Roby Tech dad joke phone <laughs> out. Okay, guys, another thing I want to tell you guys about you get finished with a system like this. You know, say, for instance, you get done with the build, you're like, hey, Roby, I, wanna, I don't want to have that, that, uh, that dumb, that dumb, basically, uh, Activate Windows thing. Well, you know, for instance, if you were going to pick up a copy of Windows, it'd be about a hundred bucks over at Best Buy. But here at VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can pick a copy of Windows 10 Pro up for $23.09. But if you want to save money and make it for even cheaper, you could hit buy now. Use code RBCK at checkout. Hit apply. And what was $23.09 drops all the way down to $16.16. .16. So now you can customize your PC. Uh, you can just simply do, uh, you basically have all of your stuff installed. Um, and the other thing too is that you can easily uh, get customer support and all that sort of stuff. We've had thousands and thousands of people here at robytech.com, or sorry, here at Robitech who've used uh, VIP slash CDKDeals.com. They are legit. Uh, their keys are no problem. They are OEM keys and they are one-time use. Same thing goes. Microsoft Office is quite expensive unless you're going to pay, uh, even if you're going to pay like the per month prices, regularly 206 bucks here, you can pick it up at VIP slash TDK deals for $75.76. But if the same thing, if you use uh, buy now, use code RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $76, $75.76 drops all the way down to $53.03. So anyway, we're checking out. A uh, great place to go and get copies of Windows, especially if you're doing new builds and get rid of that pesky activate Windows. So yes, you can absolutely install without a key, but you can't do customization. You can't activate dark mode. There's a bunch of things that are locked behind the key. This allows you to do that. So, um, okay, last thing, and then we will turn the build on. I want to tell you guys a little bit about, uh, and that is robytech.com. So a couple things, if you're looking to have a commission built, like just like uh, we just got finished doing, uh, for stacks, uh, you can go to robytech.com, click here and basically go through the process. Another, We're doing another build, commission build for Alan, uh, who is the uh, head of Forza. So we're gonna be doing that build on Thursday. Uh, just go there, it's easy, we negotiate and it's good to go and we build it right here on the stream. Uh, the other thing I'd like to tell you guys about is the Robytech Insider. If you have content that you wanna know about or you may have missed, uh, it's a great way to catch up on everything for the week. We give you a full update, tell you all of the things that are basically happening, show you all the videos that we've essentially made, give you the what's going up, tell you how to get engaged, any giveaways, and then we also tell you about any prizes or good streams essentially coming up. So we're checking out, it's a lot of fun, updates every week. You can either subscribe and have it sent to your email, or you can go to robytech.com slash insiders. The other thing too is we've also added, started adding uh, full on written reviews. So if you're in, you know, using the toilet, you don't want to necessarily watch one of our videos. We now have full written reviews of things like our IQ link, etc. Uh, does a whole thing in terms of writing it down. So it's just a nice, easy way to read it. And then, uh, I think the, yeah, I think the last thing is let's talk about deal. Oh, builds. Sorry. I also want to know if you have a build and you want to know where the builds are. Um, say, for instance, you like this build and you want to follow along, you can go right to rubytech.com slash builds. Uh, you can click on any one of these links, 
here's all the parts, and then of course the build link itself. So it makes it really easy if you find a particular build you like and you wanted to just get it built and follow along right there, robytech.com slash builds. The last thing is deals. What deals did Tom find today? Um, and we're gonna find out. Okay, MSI Cyborg 15.6 inch, 144, it's gaming laptop. It's got an i5, a 4050, eight gigs of RAM, uh, black, $300 off, making it $699.99. You can easily upgrade the RAM right there, like with the Ripjaw DDR5, and make it run even faster. 4050 laptop, you'll be very surprised. Uh, we just got finished talking one, about one uh, as part of the Intel Morning Show. Uh, you're easily 200 plus frames per second in, um, easily 200 plus frames per second in uh, Fortnite, 100 plus frames per second in Call of Duty. It can play Cyberpunk 2077 as well uh, with DLSS frame generation. And so it's way more impressive and 699 is a good price for that pairing. Uh, WD Black, uh, one terabyte NVMe drive on sale right now, $69.99. Uh, the Thermaltake Tough Power GF3, this is a PCIe 5 uh, power supply, 1,350 watt on sale, 184.99. So if you're looking for a nice 4090 build with lots of headroom, this would be a great PSU for that. The XFX Speedster Merc RX 7900 XT, this is their 20 gig GDDR6, 754. That's a really good price for a, uh, a 7900 XT. And the Isroba 15.66, if you wanna just uh, double up your productivity, this is a great secondary monitor on sale right now, 129.99, it's 1080p, it's got 100% sRGB and it's 144 hertz, so it's a nice gaming monitor as well. So anyway, some good deals. I'd say the, the laptop and the GPU are uh, probably my two favorites because the 7900 XT, we've shown that thing can be quite a beast in gaming. If you want to go check out, uh, we did that MSI giveaway just that not long ago uh, to go and see uh, how that GPU actually performs with like a 7800X3D, freaking beast of a GPU uh, and on sale for 754 bucks. So yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Guys, 51 subs. We've officially gotten the $50 new A gift card and that's it. And I'm assuming we're done with well at post, right? Okay, just checking. Hey, well, let's get this done and then we'll uh, see if it turns on. I can't believe as many people did left before it actually posted. There's only like five minutes of talking about stuff. Our sponsors, it's how we have these streams, guys. You don't leave. Ugh. It's how we give away PCs. Okay. I, it will post, we don't need it. Oh, I'm, well, thank you very much, I appreciate it, but we'd like to have the game, you never know. This is why we have the gambling. Could have hit something accidentally or whatever it was, but it's time to see this light up, guys, like a Christmas tree. Oh, that is not head, that is not light. Okay, here we go, turning it all, plugging it all in. Ugh. I only want this for now. We'll grab the other one here in a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Well, there it goes. Boom, baby. There they go, the hubs, everything, all lit up. That looks so good. And the question is, does it post? And the answer is, absolutely freaking lootly it posts. There it is right there. And it is posted, ladies and gentlemen. It is ready for its debut. Yeah, that is a beautiful build. Now it's just time to go see how it runs.
Okay, it is officially in Windows. Let us go to new device detected. Hold on one sec, getting this all plugged in. Okay, let's get this. Okay, we're gonna do restart now. And then I'm gonna take this other cable here and plug it in. Oopsie. We're gonna update our, our firmware. Weed mass smoker, it's a, that's a great CPU. I don't think anybody here would argue that it's not. And there it goes, it just lit up like the beautiful I wanted it to be. Updating our hubs now. Look at that, look at it guys. There we go, we got a mural installed here for uh, for the whole thing, so it's all lit up like a mural. Let's check out Interstellar. Liquid. It's pretty cool. Then we have Abstract. I like that one a lot. Yeah, it's very clean. That looks so good. It's crazy because the, the, the whole thing is lit. It looks really clean. It's like uniform. Okay, let's pop the glass on it. Let's start testing it now. See how the, th the thermals are and all that stuff.
There we go. Oh yeah, we'll have Hogwarts on here. All that stuff, don't worry guys, we'll get there. There it is, it is unbelievably, guys, it is silent, silent. You cannot hear it at all. Okay, let's go back into capture. Okay, so let's do our first thing. Let's see how it does just temperature wise. Hello darkness, my old friend. It's not darkness in this PC. It's got so many RGBs. Look at the light, it's so nice to see. I love it. And it doesn't belong to me. It's the sound of silence. It's the sound of silence. Okay, waiting for a hardware monitor. It's stuck. Hardware monitor, what? It's not responding. Well, we'll make it respond. Never had that happen before. Oops. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've never actually had a GPU fan die. I mean, the thing is, is that the the software IQ would tell me if one of these bits of if this one of these died. A hardware uh, info monitor is like literally struggling right now. I wonder if it's a I wonder if it's a Corsair and IQ thing. I'm gonna reboot the PC, guys. Oh, dude, stacks don't freak out. It's it's a hardware info monitor. It has nothing to do with the PC. The PC's fine. We've already benched it and all that stuff. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, I'm, I'm gonna restart and see what happens. I could also go grab Ada 64. It's coming back. It's just rebooting. It's coming back. By the way, this top down view is actually pretty awesome. You can like see like the lights. It actually looks pretty cool. Just want to say that actually looks pretty neat with it like that. Just waiting to see what the Waiting for it to finish. Okay, let's do this one more time. Wow, it just like went away. We can also use IQ. Try this one more time. This thing is hosed. <laughs> okay, let me do this. Uh, task manager, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna reinstall it. I can, I, I have other ways, but. Uh, one more time.
Oh, let me just do it this way. Try one more time. If this fails, then I'm just gonna use MSI Afterburner. We can do this. So we'll just go to CPU temperature. There you go, that's what I care about right there. Okay. What you guys are looking at right is right here. It's currently sitting at 47.48. Oh, how's that even running? Okay, let's run Cinebench. Yeah, here we go, multi-core. CPU usage, you just watch it go up. Fans just engaged. It basically said, nope, it's not gonna let it go above 70. Yeah, 48, it's the, the Ryzen has a higher idle time. Look at that, guys. 70, it's, it's going down now. 75, 76. This, this CP, this AIO is so good. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, we're just going to let it sit at 78. Oh, yeah, this CP is good. This cooler is really good. And these fans do a good job. Yeah, this is not, yeah, like you can see, this has no problem. So yeah, we, we have like no issue whatsoever. This thing is like running beautifully. It's just like, yeah, we're gonna keep it at 77, 78. That's actually a nice score for the 7900X 3D too. 25,000 points. It depends on the, it depends on a lot of things, right? Like it, the cooler could be slowing itself down. I mean, for it to idle at that, it doesn't matter. But yes, the, that, that idle temperature is fine. Uh, if hardware infra monitor was working right now, we could see, we could see what it would do. Conversation.
Still doing it. So no problem whatsoever. I think we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, see how it does in games. Now I'm still here. Bring up Steam. Oh, one thing I need to do, and I just realized this because it's a uh, let's. Uh, Fix this because this is an X3D. So we're going to go to chipset AM5 X670E submit. Going to download the chipset drivers. The main reason being is I need to make sure the 3D, the three, the X3D drivers are on here, so we can get the most out of this. And then you also make sure that if you're running anything above the 7800X3, that your Xbox, um, basically the uh, Xbox game app is also at max. Hey, GSXR Therapy, thank you very much for the raid, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure that the uh, if we don't have this, then it wouldn't work. It wouldn't. We wouldn't be getting uh, appropriate uh, performance numbers here. Waiting for that. I just took, a, I literally just hydrated right now. Hydrated, mad hydration done. Thank you very much, Riddick. Waiting for the game to finish here. Wow, this is taking forever. There we go. That's all there is. It's just like, it's like, and it's done. Gotta restart one more time. Oh, I need to go ahead and uh, make sure that AMD Expo is installed, right, activated. By the way, this Cooler Master MK770 keyboard is awesome. I just might want to, I'm just adding that in here. It's awesome. Uh, you can definitely hear it. It's, it's, it's pretty loud. It, when you're, when you're running at max temperature, you can set a curve so it doesn't do that. I mean, you have some, like it doesn't probably need to go as fast as it does right now. But um, uh, nasty Yoda, I would get it from AMD because they update the chipset drivers more frequently. It was the actual cooler, the MA24, that bit my finger off. Thank you for asking, Figment. Guys, this was a good build. This was a fun build. I think you guys enjoyed it, right? Don't you think? I think this build came out fantastic, personally.
No, there's nothing I would change about this build. This build is awesome. And it's, I mean, it's quiet, it's easy. Like if you need to upgrade it, it's easy to upgrade because of the IQ link. It's just, yeah. It's, yeah. It was one of the fins, yeah. Uh, builds $3,200 pre-tax. I mean, I mean, if you wanted to add a screen, I guess you could add a screen, but and then at some point, but I'm guessing that'll actually be easier to, uh, that'll be easier to go in there. And again, guys, the build that's in here, as we get ready to start our, our testing here, um, the build, this is the parts list right here. It's the Ryzen 9 7900X3D, the MSI X670E Tomahawk Wi-Fi, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, 4080 FE, Patriot Viper VP4300, one terabyte and two terabyte storage, the RGB DDR5 Corsair Vengeance RAM at 6,000 megahertz, NZXT H9 Elite, uh, the Corsair IQ Link H150i, 360 millimeter AIO, and then the Corsair Shift Series RM850X, and we have not, uh, a total of 10 QX120 fans in here. So that's all of the parts. And a partridge in a pear tree. Um, yeah, you could do that, but again, I mean, I just run with MSI Afterburner, that's up to you. I mean, again, you could absolutely do that if you wanted to add that, if you wanted to basically do something like that to do a screen. Um, it just depends on when you look at the build. The build itself looks fantastic, though. All right, so let's check out our first game. We always like to start off things with Cyberpunk 2077. Let's open up MSI Afterburner. The fans are on their site. Yeah, you can get them at. I mean, I got them at Newegg. They're 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 easy to play and get. Blondie, did you send me a link of a, a clip of the of the story block segment in Discord? Okay, allowing access. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Pillsbury. Thanks for hanging out. Guys, 500 plus people here today. That was awesome. Not bad for a Sunday. There's a risk of seizures. Be careful. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we'll start with ray tracing ultra high. We'll do the standard DLSS here with balance because we're at 1440p. Um, we have everything else on. Video is we're gonna go to full screen. There we go, HV sync is off. Let's run our benchmark. Let's see how this does. Not yet reluctant hero, but that, that, honestly, that, this, this keyboard is impressive. So 106 frames for 105 frames per second at 1440p. Yeah, I know. I don't know why it's taken so long. I asked that question too, but I'm not sure why I'm reluctant. There we go. 
113.67 frames per second. Let's do it with frame generation on, just to see what we get for 1440p. Uh, stacks. Uh, I mean, if you, if I were you, uh, and you were, are you? Do you stream? You stream, right, stacks? If you don't stream, depends on if you stream or not. Reluctant, let me ask them, let me ask them when it's coming out, because if it's soon, then the, I would wait for this one. Oh yeah, yeah, because I was gonna say the Xenion Flex would be a great one to go with it. Uh, I really do like the 27 inch uh, QHD 240 Hertz OLED from, that one actually I really, really like as well, uh, if you're looking for 1440p. So those two are great. The Corsair Xenion 27 QHD 240 or the Asus equivalent as well. The, they've had really good sales and it's a beautiful monitor. 177 frames per second. I'm sure I can reach out to Be Quiet and get one. The, 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 I use the 27 for my portable rig setup. Okay, so anything else, that's, that's Cyberpunk. Seems to be running beautifully. Let's go and check out COD. Okay, so let's bring up Call of Duty. Call of Duty. See how this is doing? Uh, we're probably about 15, maybe 15 minutes away. I got a couple more games to test. I mean, people see, I, you guys like to see how the build actually runs, right? And let me tell you, COD and 3DB cache, what? Yeah, I did. Heisen, I mean, the biggest thing is, is that I like the floating radiator on the H9 Elite. It's just a prettier looking case than the H9 Flow. And the H9 Flow has that glass, that doesn't have the glass front end. Or sorry, I, I just, I'm sorry, it doesn't have quite all of the aesthetic stuff. Um, the H9 Flow uh, also has the, doesn't have the glass top end. But the one thing I really like about the H9 Elite is it actually has a special duct to feed air into the, into the, uh, uh, for exhaust, because it, for so it, it ends up temperatures end up being great. This is a 1440p. Uh, I I prefer I I actually prefer curved for gaming, um, it, but it depends on the game because certain games it's not they're not as good. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted. Go back. There we go. There we go. Why is it? There we go.
Oh, really? I love that movie. Guys, one movie I absolutely love, like, was amazing, was the Gran Turismo movie. No, there's some di there's definitely some dip physical differences and some other differences between the two. Yeah, let's go here. Graphics. We're just gonna do uh, regular image scaling, display. We're gonna go to unlimited, apply quality. We're just make sure we're at full screen exclusive quality. Okay, so this is just just to see how things go. go was it done okay it's done okay here we go so this is 1440p just uh raw 1440p just with image some limited image scaling yeah i'm just let, running benchmarks because that's the best way to just see how the game performs This doesn't have DLSS or anything. This is just basically non, this is just raw. Not really. Uh, well, yes, depending on what resolution, but for the most part, the 79, the, a lot of them at 1440p, yes, the CPU does bottleneck. There you go, guys, 142. It's all GPU at this point in time. Now let's just see how high we can get, though. Let's go to graphics, quality. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I meant to go to basic. My bad. Uh, that's why I was like, why is that so, that seemed low. Okay, here we go. Let's do it one more time. This is basic settings. This is what, this is optimizing for frame rate. Yes, it's freaky, you are right. The, it, the COD loves, especially with an X3D. There, yeah, that's more like it. That's what I was expecting. That This is more what I was expecting from a 4080. Yes, Igor, soon it will be. So 203 FPS, but if you want to opt, if you really want to get graphics going, okay, here we go. 
just to get. Okay, right, so this is just trying to get the fastest possible frame rate. This is just optimizing getting the fast yet. And there you go. That was another jump in frame rate, jumping us all the way up to 266 frames per second. So there you go. So pretty good in COD. Um, let's check out Hogwarts Legacy. No, it's not out yet. That was the, I like that one. Or you can look at the LG, the one from Asus. They are Naku, uh, Naku. It's not installed. I need to, I'm having issues with leaking, linking my, uh, linking my account. Sergeant Creepy AMD CPUs are really good. Waiting for the shaders to go. When does it drop, Julio? Uh, I would wait for the 7800 XT. It's only like a week and a half away. Yeah, so you better get going. That's not that far away, Julio. Naku, me too. Me too. Okay, so here's Hogwarts Legacy. I know we had a request to see it raw, so we'll turn. We'll uh, we'll jump in and then we'll turn on. We'll turn it off without DLSS. So I believe this is. Ultra with ray tracing on. We have DLSS on, let's put it on balanced, and then we'll go down. So this is DLSS balanced Hogwarts Legacy.
What is the T? So two hundred frames per second. Now let's go to RAW. We'll turn off DLSS. There you go, we lost about half the frames there. I don't know, is, can you finally play Skull and Bones? So there it is, 119, 120 frames per second. Raw. Okay, let's check our last one, which is frame generation. stuttery. But still. Oh, so that's the last time. You won't be able to get it after then? Yeah, so again, no problem with Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, let's just, we're gonna try something new, a new game, and then we'll call it and go from there. So new game, what is it called? Fort Solus. This is like a, a horror, it's like, a, not a horror, I don't know how to call it. it. It came out during the, I saw it during the, uh, I saw it during Gamescom. And I was like, I was like, this game looks rad, so we're gonna check it out. Okay, let's see what we got here for... Okay. I can't go any higher than 1920 by 1080. It's, wait a minute, what? Oh. That was weird. Okay, okay, there we go. What a weird. 2560 by 1440. Okay, there we go. Okay. We're going to go to performance. Wow, that was that's actually painful. Okay. There we go. Wait, I got V-Sync on. Dang it.
Okay, uh, sorry, I'm gonna try and fix the... Why does VSync say no? Oh, there you go, that's why. Wait, did I save it? There we go. There we go, wow, so this only runs at like 100 frames per second on 1440p. This is Fort Solis. This game looks good. And it does have frame generation too. Let's see, okay, let's turn on frame generation. Whoa, you had a lot more frames of frame generation. I guess I'm taking the ATV. This game looks really good. This was done by a small indie studio. No, this is not Starfield. This is a game called Fort Solis. It was a now, it was, it came out uh, and it was, I saw it at, at Gamescom and I was like, dude, this game looks rad. It does look good though. It kind of has that Starfield vibe, doesn't it? I figured I'd show you, if I see some new cool looking game, I'm gonna show it to you. I guess I was supposed to go over there. Well, I just walked around for no reason. Wow, that's a mobile platform, guys. I don't think that's, I don't think you have to worry about that, Sergeant Nobody. No, oh, there's the ATV. Oh, it's auto drive.
I know, that's what I was saying, Julio. It's weird. You guys don't. I, I guess the thing is, is that it's not showing. The audio is not coming through for some reason. I don't know why it's not coming through with the Elgato. Oh. No, it's just not coming through at all. Yeah, this is called Fort Solace. I don't know why the audio is not coming through. It usually does. There it is right there, Fort Solace. It's got like a pretty big cast to it as well. So like the, it's the actors and stuff like that. Good and good. I mean, we got good performance. Oh, I guess over there. Yeah, they did a really good job with the lighting and everything. I don't think the game's very expensive. How much is the game? Can somebody... I think Clintos, I think it is. I'm not sure, though. It might be action, but it's not... It's like... It's... It's narrative. Yeah, it's like twenty two ninety
I don't know what to do. Good. I like looked in there and then nothing happened. Let me into the world. Oh, there's one more place. Okay, here we go. Void Nebula, you think? Oh, I didn't know. I, w I wasn't ready for that. Dang it. It reminds me a lot of heavy rain. You know what I mean? Like one of those. The Quantic Dream games. Well, I'm not very good at this. I'd have to install it. We're just going to see what happens at the th a little bit into this, and then I'm going to call it. And then we're going to do the giveaways. I want to see what happens when you get to Fort Solis. That's the atrium. I just want to see. Looks cool.
What's this? There's a bar. Let's get drunk. Get some beverages. All right. Now it's a party, guys. <laughs> okay, well, let's start our giveaways. I just want to see this game looks super interesting. We'll start the giveaways now. Uh, I, get, I don't really know where I can go. You can't really run very fast either. I mean, the place doesn't look like it's in disarray or anything like that. Got some stuff up here. Oh, I can close the shutter. That's good. happening but we're gonna try and see figure something out oh maybe that's why I need that to open the door you always find it like isn't it interesting when you play certain games like they just happen to have like the node somewhere Okay, so now you can like look at the map. Okay. We're gonna go into this one door and then I'm calling it. I just wanna solve one puzzle in this game. See, I got the node. Okay, well, this looks like a good place to stop it. Well, there we go. We showed you some, we built an amazing PC. We, uh, we showed it running a bunch of games. We also got, uh, we also got a uh, ton. We saw that it did great in thermals. Uh, and all in all, we, we got to check out a brand new game. So that game actually looks really, really cool. It's called Fort Solus, available now. 22 bucks, pick it up on Steam. Um, and uh, congratulations to Stax for winning this, uh, for, no, sir, for uh, commissioning this build. Uh, it looks really, really good. I love the lighting and all that sort of stuff to it, and it looks and runs awesome. Okay, so we got a couple giveaways. Two $25 Nui gift cards are the first things up for grabs. Let's pull up the first, what's going on here? Oh no, the stupid mouse is doing its thing again. Hold on.
There we go. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's check it out. Going to all Cloudbot. Okay, first one up, two $25 new gift cards, exclamation point community, exclamation point community. Two $25 new gift cards up for grabs. Starting that giveaway right now. Going right now. And then Battle Station winners. Congratulations to Igor1980, Made in America, and Mystery. You guys are the winners of the Battle Station competition. So Blondie will be reaching out to you and giving you guys the data on that as well. So congratulations to our winner, our winners on that too. That was a cool game. That was a, that was a cool game. That was cool. I want to play that more. That looks fun. It looks scary. Maybe fun, scary, who knows. Thank you very much, guys. Over 500 plus people, 550 plus people tuned in today. Thank you very much. Build came out amazing. Um, yeah. And don't forget, last chance to get in on this. Yeah, there is one more stream in the month of August. So you still got one, a couple more chances to get in on your give, your, uh, your stuff for uh, getting in on the... Uh, the sub only PC. Okay, 44 seconds left, guys. We're gonna draw two winners in 30 seconds. Make sure that yes, you do you do need to be a member of the Discord, so make sure you've joined the Discord. Uh, Patate, you just need to be subscribed over at, you need to be subscribed on, uh, uh, you need, all you have to do is be subscribed to Twitch, uh, Kick or Discord. And they can get extra entries via gifted subs and some other things too. Okay, drawing our winner in two seconds. Picking our winners. Congratulations to Based uh, Tabacata over on YouTube. And TJ Sacco over on uh, Twitch. Congratulations, you guys. No more entries, guys. Congratulations again. That was based Tabacata and TJ Sacco. You guys are the winners of the... Please DM. Make sure you DM hidden uh, so that way we can get that stuff done. Okay, guys. Next one is a $50 New A gift card. This is you guys just for the sub goal. $50 new egg gift card, exclamation point new egg now, exclamation point new egg now. And that is starting right now, exclamation point new egg now. Blurg McFlurgan. <laughs> That's a great name. Congratulations, man. Congratulations, Blurg McFlurgan. Okay, one minute, five seconds left.
30 seconds, you guys. Okay, picking a winner in 10 seconds. Yeah, sorry about that. I turned it off for the game and then realized you guys weren't getting audio, so I was like, oh, forgot to turn it on. Congratulations, Midnight War. You are the winner of the $50 New Year gift card. Okay, guys, so let's just talk a uh, little bit different schedule this week. Uh, next stream is on Wednesday, Wednesday. So we have a stream Wednesday, Thursday, and then again on Sunday. So uh, Wednesday is a uh, commission, uh, sorry, Wednesday is a PC giveaway build. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to tune in Wednesday. We're gonna be giving away a PC. That's gonna be happening Wednesday. Thursday, we're gonna be building a PC for Alan Hartman, who's uh, the head of Forza. So that's gonna be a 4090 uh, uh, Corsair 4000D build. So that should be a fun one. And then Sunday, we're gonna be checking out a new case from uh, Vitru. Uh, we're gonna be checking out their M05. It's gonna be a small white uh, mini uh, micro, sorry, uh, mini, Micro ATX build, all white, nice little budget one, 4060, uh, 7600, Ryzen 7600. So you're gonna wanna tune in for that. And then Thursday, starting at noon, join me here live for Starfield. We're gonna play Starfield for four hours before getting to the build later on in the day. So should be a super, super fun week. Uh, and then if you are going to PAX, I will be at PAX, check me out. I'll be there on Saturday at the MSI booth. Uh, and then we're, uh, we're doing a, a challenge with, uh, the fine folks over at NVIDIA, so tune into that. You could be in a Robitech video as well. So head on over there. Uh, I'll be there from uh, from noon, I think, uh, from for about four, four or five hours. So that's gonna be happening on Saturday. So should be cool. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Great week. Outside of that, have a great rest of your Sunday, and we will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye, guys. Congratulations.